This is Zetsway coming at you with a Galaxy Black Cougar versus the new Musketeer build from set 14. So I'm running the new starter with the Chicano Blast 1 and search the top 3 cards for Black Cougar and then add it to your hand and shuffle your deck. So I get a pretty good starting hand here. I get my rides from grade 1, 2, 3. And they get some extra grade 2 attackers here. So I just ride into Tough White, good start, it's an 8k, so makes it easy to guard in the beginning. So like here I decided to guard with a 10k, because that way I don't take early damage, and even if it gets a critical trigger or something, I don't have to take it, I don't have to get too damaged in the beginning of the game. Because usually I find that there's usually a critical trigger early game. So I draw a Galaxy Black Kruger, so I'm all set for break ride, and then I ride into the 10k. It's another good start. And then I only call one Mars, because I don't have any Count Blast, so I don't know if my opponent will hit any triggers. So I call just one to see if I can get an extra guard from hand, so I do. Get a, one of those new 9k boosters. Then I attack, it gives me 10, it's still one to pass. So I get a critical trigger, so I still force my opponent to, get, to take two damage early game while I'm still at zero. So it's a very good start. And even if my opponent decides to hit uh, Mars Kruger, I can still call another one so I don't have to worry about guarding it. And then for, for you guys that don't know, if I'm playing a Mac, so I have to use Wine Skin to play. And uh, it gives you a little trigger lag when you use wineskin because you're running a program through another program. It's not bad, it still works. Just need to use it. Yeah, because I'm a big Mac fan. So then I just go ahead and my turn. The opponent can only ride into a grade 2, he doesn't have anything to call, so I just let it go through so I can start using the starter skill. Start searching. Gets a draw trigger. So he gets a draw. Then I had a draw trigger, so it was a good idea for me not to guard because I would have just drawn the trigger and it wouldn't have been very useful for me. So I hit the draw trigger and I also get to draw another card. And I've drawn another 10k guard, which is good, and I still I draw another tough boy. So I ride the break ride called tough boy between my already called Mars and the calling of the Mars. He guards with a 5k. There we go, and then I attack with Vanguard. He guards for two. I don't hit any triggers, and since Vanguard didn't hit, I can't use uh, my rear guard or my starter skill, which is fine. Still got two cards out of his hand. So. Sorry, I can see my, I'm already forcing my opponent to get rid of his hand early game, which really helps so he doesn't have any boosters or anything that can be a problem so I can save my hand for later. So then I attack with Mars. He decides to guard with his last 10k in his hand. So my opponent rides, calls out the break ride. So I let him hit Mars because it's not really a point for me to guard it since I already have one on the field. I don't need to use another count blast for him. So I decided to not guard the Vanguard. And I could have given a 10k, so it would still been two to pass. But I decided not to. It's worth uh, getting two damage so that way I can count blast search with the starter and then go for Mars Kruger again. So that way I can get another attack in there if, if I don't draw another attacker. Or I decide not to play another one. So he does hit a draw trigger so he's able to increase the size of his hand. So 
So the Gerald is a great three, so he's all ready for a break ride, and then he hits end phase before I can take the damage. But I do check a uh, Galaxy Bow Kruger, so it wasn't too bad, but it wasn't a good uh, trigger jack. I would have liked to hit a draw or something, so that way I can increase my hand, but that's fine. So I just put it back in damage, so that way it works. I do draw a grade 2 Blau Kruger. So I decide not to call it, so I just save my hand, so I attack with the Galaxy uh, Mars Black Kruger first. So that way I can set it up to get a third attack. He doesn't hit a trigger, so that's good, he hits a break ride. So I know that when he break rides, he has at least one copy left in deck. So he doesn't decide to guard it, so I can go for both my starter and my Black Kruger. Mars uh, Kruger's effect, I was planning to go for. We got another perfect guard, so I'm all set. I have two perfect guards in here, and I have enough targets in my hand to use. And then I also have a grade one in my hand to call the field and then flip a damage. So that way, I can make sure I have enough next turn if I want to. If I decide to break, let him give me the break ride. I do check a heal trigger, so I just put it on Mars Kruger. So that way, I can restand him, and he's a 19k. So if he hits a trigger, it still forces him to guard. He doesn't hit a trigger, so he will have to either give me a guard or he'll have to take it. So at this point, it's 4 2. So with the. I stand uh, Mars Kruger again, 5000 with the starter skill. I am adding Mars uh, Kruger to my hand, so that way I'm all ready for uh, next turn if he decides to destroy mine. I do shuffle, so it doesn't show, but I did shuffle in there. So I don't have to worry about it. any misplays there. Gives me a 10k guard. So his hand, so he targets his break, other break ride card. It's fine, so that's his last break ride in his deck. Good thing that it's not another intercept or a grade one he was able to since he can't target his starter. Since he doesn't probably doesn't have one in his an extra one in his deck. And he'll and since he can't sack his uh break ride because he's not a musketeer, he'll probably sack his starter. Which he does. And since I know I have my opponent only has three cards in hand, I decide to uh, probably will let him to hit me to limit break here, so that way I can break ride and I can probably kill him. Because if you don't know the break ride skill, uh, when the uh, break ride the vanguard gains ten thousand, and you can when the vanguard attacks, count last one or send all your rear guards. So it's really good. So he calls a uh, a, mus a grade one musketeer that count last one is a sack of musketeer in the field and search your top four cards. He doesn't have any other musketeers on the field, he can't sack, so he can't, so it's one minus is playing a non-musketeer break red, but you can't sack him, so you can't get the searching going. Because if he got it another grade 2, it would be great, so I do let him tank Mars uh, Kruger, because I already have another copy. I'll let this go, let the Vanguard attack hit. If he gets a uh, critical, I'll probably guard, I have enough guard to do that, if not, I'll just let the other one go in so I can save my guard for later. So he doesn't get one, so I'm going to let the other rear guard in uh, hit. Now he has a perfect guard, so if he uses on the vanguard on first attacks, he uh, can perfect guard that, but I can still restand, so I'll get another four attacks in there with the rear guards if it, if the vanguard doesn't hit, so that way I can restand him and get the limit break going. That's one great thing about Galaxy Block Kruger. So I don't hit a trigger, that's fine. As long as I don't like, check a perfect guard or a heal right now because the heal wouldn't go off, I get the power, but it just wouldn't go off. So I decide to let this through. I check a grade two Black Kruger. It's fine because he can't really use his effect since he has to be in Vanguard Circle. And if, I would have liked to be in the draw trigger so I can increase my hand size, but it wasn't, but that's fine.
So I'm at 4 damage, so I decide to go ahead and break ride. I draw a tough boy, so it's good. Call the damage on Flipper. Then I just call Mars Kruger. Attack with Mars Kruger first. He guards for it. So then I attack with uh, Black Kruger. That I grade 2. He decides to take it. I know he has 3 cards in hand, so I probably will be able to use a limit break on it. So that's what. It's gonna. And then you can see his hand since this is in uh, replay mode. So you, you can know, I know that I'm going to be able to uh, limit break on him by head. So I go ahead and attack. He perfect, he perfect guards. I use the break right skill so that I counter blast one, restand all my units. So it's one reason I called the damage on flipper. So that way I can make sure I do the limit break. Even if he checks a heal. So I get a grade three. Then I believe I check a heal or a crit. Can't remember. Oh, yep, I check crit, so I put it all on Mars Kruger. Since that's the highest hitting column right now, and it wouldn't really do much on the other column. That way, if uh, somehow he just keeps stacking heals, which is really high unlike highly unlikely, I could just restand Mars Kruger. But unfortunately, I won't have enough room because I have to counter blast for the break. So he doesn't hit a heal. So that's pretty much game there. As you can see, he's going GG. Yeah. Uh, secret, uh, a lot of good decks are coming out in the, new, the later sets in the Japanese meta. You got a bunch of Counter Blast 2, or this card 2 cards uh, from your hand. Vanguard, so it's really good. So I decide to just keep on playing. He's already left by now, and I'm just seeing what would happen if I use the Limit Break in effect. So I. Counter Blast 2, discard 2 cards from my hand, it just has to be Nova Grab, which doesn't have to be at Blau in its hand. So I discard a grade 3 since it would be worthless and a tough boy since he doesn't have anything to retire my field. So I attack, check another grade 2 by Kruger. So at this point, I'm um, just having fun seeing what I would have gotten if he did, not, if he did get a heal. And then, I think this is where I did check the heal. Yep, I checked the heal. So even if he was able to survive, I have two perfect guards in hand. I have plenty of shield. So now again, I just see what I get. So this is pretty much the end. So this will be Zetsway for Shigig signing out. Have a good day.